Good morning students. I am Arbi Kesar or Balakrishnan. My name is Arbi Balakrishnan. I am going to take your class 8th standard. And what subject? That is a physics. In physics, we are just going to discuss the topic 2nd chapter friction. First of all, what is meant by friction? The force that opposes the relative motion of the object with the surface of contact is called friction. That means if you apply one force on the object, then some more force in opposite direction applied. That force is called a friction force. So we will discuss it later. First in friction, what type of friction we are going to discuss? Static friction. What is meant by static friction? Take one table and place one object, hot object on the table. You just apply the heavier force on the object. The object does not move. The object does not move. What is the reason? Some more force applied in opposite direction. Okay, it blocked the object. So, the force applied on the object does not move. Some more force opposes the movement of the object in opposite direction. That is called friction force. So, if applied forces in left side, the friction forces in right side. If the applied forces in right side, friction forces left side. So, the friction force is always opposed to the rough applied force. Friction force is always opposed to the rough applied force. So, what is the static friction? Even if you apply more force, if the object does not move, at that time some friction force develops, you know, that is called a static friction. Okay. Here, one working model given, you just consider your home. In home, so many places are there. Hall, kitchen, bedroom, like that. In bedroom, uh, big cot or bureaus, everything, big objects are there. Is it possible to push the bureau by yourself only? Impossible. Even only one person, impossible to push the cart or bed or bureau like that. Why? What is the reason? Some friction forces developed, okay, for your applied force. Here one person push the cart, impossible. Three persons push the cart, it is possible. Next day, the one person push the cart in polished surface. So even one person that just to push the table, it is moving. Why it is in polished surface? So there is no friction. So here, this friction is called static friction. Next one more example. Take one wooden block on the table. Small forces applied. The object does not move. The object does not move. Some static friction developed. Okay. So the friction means just opposite force develop on the applied force. Opposite force applied on the total force that is called a static friction. So, if friction definition is given, force is in one direction, friction is in opposite direction. Force is in one direction, friction force is in opposite direction. Next, a static fr friction definition given here. What is my static friction? Friction that exists between stationary object and the surface of the object. Stationary object and the surface of the object. Stationary object and the surface of the object. This is called a static friction. What is the static friction? Any force that you have to apply on the object, okay, if it is at a continuity to be at rest, then the friction force developed is called static friction. Then the friction force developed is called static friction. Next, I will go to the next clip. Kinetic or dynamic friction. What is the kinetic or dynamic friction? Kinetic is a movement. Kinetic means dynamic means movement. Two names that. Here, you just observe this clip. Before that, initially you apply small force, the object does not move. Today, it just give increasing applied force. So, after increasing the applied force against the friction force, the object is moving. So, object is moving easily. This is called a kinetic friction. So, if you apply more force than the rest force, static friction, then it is called kinetic friction. So, the more force applied on the object than the static friction force is called kinetic friction. Okay, more force applied than the static friction that is called kinetic friction. Next clip, limiting friction. What is my limiting friction? You just observe this video. Observe this video. Take one table, place a wooden block. On the wooden block, two more wooden blocks is there. The wooden block has some hooks. Hooks means rivet or nail. And one thread just connect the wooden block 
and passes over the frictionless pulley this pulley is called frictionless pulley and through the passes over the friction pulley the end of the thread is connected to some plastic cup like that plastic cup or metal cup like that okay for adding some weight now first you add 50 gram is it possible to move impossible 100 gram it does not move but if you add 150 gram some red color box shows start to move that is maximum static friction this maximum static friction is called limiting friction it means start to move after adding 200 gram it is a fastly moving after adding 200 gram it is a fastly moving okay so what it indicates so limiting friction means between static and kinetic the maximum static friction developed on the object is called limiting friction static friction always greater than kinetic friction static friction always greater than kinetic friction we will go to the next clip sliding friction what is sliding sliding now urulu dhan solvanga sliding okay here you just observe the diagram an object on the table an object on the table okay static means rest kinetic means movement but kinetic means some relative motion is there but uh, sliding what's the difference sliding and kinetic means sliding fastly moving but kinetic means uh, slowly moving with relative motion but uh, sliding means uh, no tension at all even uh, if you apply the light force pushing the force then automatically moving so that is called a sliding friction so sliding kinetic this only the difference kinetic means more force you have to apply sliding friction means uh, less force you have to apply because of the surface okay some relative motion in both the case relative motions are there relative motion is more in uh, that is sliding less in kinetic less in kinetic we will go to the next clip rolling friction what is the rolling friction static friction is difficult to move kinetic friction is a somewhat the object is move and produce a noise a scratch uh, wear and tear like that sliding friction somewhat better than kinetic easily moving but a sliding friction even if to move slightly even if to move slightly even to move slightly what happen even to move slightly what happen then scratch or disturbance takes place scratch or disturbance takes place in sliding friction but if you want to move freely without any scratch on the surface then which one is easily possible which one is easily possible rolling friction is easily possible rolling friction is easily possible okay so we will just go to the next clip take one wooden box and the six pencils you take six pencils you take okay and only one wooden box in next case you take first in second case only one wooden box is there if you push the wooden box if you push the wooden box on the surface the object does not move properly some scratch takes place on the surface some noise is produced friction is more it is impossible to move easily but if you just if, but it is a, if you apply some other force it is moving there is a sliding sliding same case but it is possible to move easily if you want to push the object easily then place the wooden box on six pencils then now you just roll it then it is so easy so the rolling friction is better than sliding friction here one demo for rolling friction two demos given for rolling friction take one table take one box wooden box just apply some other force it is impossible to move but if you just place the box on two roller like pencil the pencil is cylindrical objects cylindrical objects easily moving just like a wheel so the box is placed on the two pencils then it is easily moving so any box placed on the wheels or uh, pencils or like that then it is easily possible to move that is called a rolling friction okay rolling friction is the least friction next in other other cases one suit case is that the weight is 25 kilogram weight is 25 kilogram then unable to carry the bag but the one more bag you just to take with roller or some other wheel is it possible to push the wheeler back the already observed airport in a platform and a railway platform just to push the bag with the roller why it is very easy the roller bag 
பிகாஸ் த பாட்டம் போர்ஷன் சிலிண்ட்ரிக்கல் ஜஸ்ட் லைக் எ வீல் இட் இஸ் ஈஸிலி ரொட்டேட் ஈஸிலி ரொட்டேட் ஸோ ஓன்லி த ரோலிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் இஸ் பெட்டர் தேன் அதர் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ரோலிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் இஸ் பெட்டர் தேன் அதர் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் பட் த ஸ்லைட் வென் நீ கம்பேர் த ஸ்லைடிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் நீ கம்பேர் த ஸ்லைடிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் கிளைம் த ஒன் மோர் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபார் ரோலிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் யூ நோ பைசைக்கிள் த பைசைக்கிள் மோஸ்ட்லி ஹவு டு மூவ் ஹவு டு ஸ்டார்ட் டு மூவ் மீன்ஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் யூ டே கன்சிடர் த ரியர் வீல் பேக் சைட் வீல் த ஃபஸ்ட் பெடல் ஜஸ்ட் மூவிங் பெடல் இஸ் கனெக்டட் டு த செயின் வீல் த செயின் இஸ் கனெக்ட் டு ஸ்போக்ஸ் ஸ்போக்ஸ் கனெக்ட் டு ரியர் வீல் வென் எவர் த ஃபோர்ஸ் அப்ளை இன் த பெடல் த ரியர் வீல் ஃபஸ்ட் மூவ் பேக்வேர்டு ஸோ இஃப் த ரியர் வீல் மூவ் பேக்வேர்டு ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ஃபோர்ஸஸ் ஃபார்வேர்டு பட் ரியர் மூவ் ஃபார்வேர்டு ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ஃபோர்ஸஸ் பேக்வேர்டு So, which force is first very important to move the cycle means the forward friction force provided by the rear wheel. Rear wheel means backward movement, that is backward wheel, backside wheel. So, the backside wheel only first push the vehicle. How? How? The backside wheel push, rotate in backward direction. You know, already friction force opposite direction. Forward friction force is developed. rear wheel just moving backward friction forces moving forward so the moving friction force in forward due to rear wheel is only the reason to move the cycle so once again you just observe the clip once again you just observe the clip and it is a difficult topic it is a difficult topic here on bicycle is there here on bicycle is there that a bicycle always a connected with the two wheels and one um that is a chain wheel and a chain and pedal first you press the pedal what happen the wheel is moving and chain is moving and spokes is moving first you consider the rear wheel the rear wheel moving backward friction forces forward so this friction force forward moment only brings the cycle towards the forward direction here no torque is produced so only translation motion is possible translation motion is possible okay next we will go to the next clip this is the explanation just you read next types of friction so far we discussed so many types of friction what are the different types of friction first you just observe the video the types of friction just to show us a chart the first friction mentioned is a static very first friction is a static next friction is limiting next friction is a kinetic next friction is a sliding next friction is a rolling so only you have to write the friction in the order static limiting kinetic sliding rolling what is be static if you push the book impossible to move okay if you apply the direction of force friction force is opposed that is called a static friction so any force is applied then it comes plays with the movement of the object comes to play when there is no movement of the object that is called static friction here magnitude of the friction is maximum magnitude value is more it is just balance the force supply whatever the force supplied equally it applied whatever the force supplied okay 10 newton applied 10 newton force applied with a static force 20 newton applied 20 newton friction force is developed 30 newton if you apply the force 30 newton friction force is applied so here on chart so only it is called self adjusting force static friction force is called a self adjusting force self adjusting means whatever the force if you give 10 newton the same 10 newton given by static friction whatever the force given by 30 newton the 30 newton force given by friction whatever the force given by 50 newton the 50 newton force is given by static friction so that is called self adjusting force next limiting friction what is the limiting friction it comes place when the object is just about to move just to start to move that is between static and the kinetic in between static and kinetic is called limiting so the maximum value of static friction maximum value of static friction limited friction is converted into kinetic friction limited friction is converted into kinetic friction these are all properties of limiting friction these are all the properties of limiting friction 
ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட்டு கைனெட்டிக் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட்டு கைனெட்டிக் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ஸோ வாட்ஸ் த மீனிங் ஆஃப் கைனெட்டிக் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் கைனெட்டிக் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் மீன்ஸ் த ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் டெவலப்ட் இன் த மூமெண்ட் தி ஃப்ளக்ஷன் தெர் இஸ் அ ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் டெவலப் இன் த மூமெண்ட் இட் இஸ் அ டைப் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் தட் கம்ஸ் இன் டு ப்ளே வென் த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் இன் மோஷன் ஸோ ஐ இன் மோஷன் த சம் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ஃபோர்ஸ் டவுட் தட் இஸ் கர் கேனடி லீஸ்ட் மேக்னிடியூட் இன் இங்கே பர்த் ஸ்டார்டிங் நான் செல்ஃப் அட்ஜஸ்டிங் நேச்சர் நான் செல்ஃப் அட்ஜஸ்டிங் நேச்சர்னால் ஓகே த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் மூவிங் பட் ஸ்லோலி மூவிங் ஓகே ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ஃபோர்ஸ் ஆல்சோ தேர் மூவ்மெண்ட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ தேர் தட் இஸ் கார்டு நான் அட்ஜஸ்டிங் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்லைடிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் இட் இஸ் அ டைப் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் தட் கம்ஸ் டு ப்ளே அண்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் அ ஸ்லைடிங் ஒன் ஓவர் தி அனதர் ஸ்லைடிங் ஒன் ஓவர் தி அனதர் உருள்றது பேர் ஹையஸ்ட் மேக்னட்டிக் ஹையஸ்ட் மேக்னிடியூட் தேன் ரோலிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ஹையஸ்ட் மேக்னிடியூட் தேன் ரோலிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ஹியர் ரோலிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் இட் இஸ் அ டைப் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் தட் கம்ஸ் டு ப்ளே அண்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஒன் ரோல் ஓவர் தி அதர் ஒன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ரோல் ஓவர் தி அதர் தான் ரோலிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் இட் இஸ் அ லெஸ்ஸர் தேன் ஸ்லைடிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் லெஸ்ஸர் தேன் ஸ்லைடிங் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் நவ் யூ கம்பேர் ஆல் தீஸ் ஃபோர் which one is the more friction that is most uh, valuable friction limiting friction which one is the most valuable friction limiting friction limiting friction greater than static friction static friction greater than kinetic kinetic greater than sliding sliding greater than rolling so this is in some ascending order of frictions next we'll go to the next uh, clip factors affecting the friction what are the factors affecting first you consider the three factors the texture of the surface and object texture of the surface means nature of the surface and the object the area of the object which is in contact with the surface so what type of area in contact less area or more area weight of the surface weight on the surface so if the object has more weight then friction is more if the object has less weight friction is less so nature of the surface area of the surface weight of the object nature of the surface area of the surface weight of the object these three it depends so because of these three only we have to consider the friction force so how much of friction forces developed how much of friction forces developed so next to clip now you just observe this video here one uh, pot you take you hold the pot and push it it is possible to push okay because holding is possible but if you just take tumbler it is impossible to hold why some greasy nature greasy nature because of greasy no friction forces at all so the glass model broken the glass model just replaced from place on the place by using it is difficult here one girl is walking in the mud partially friction forces there partially no friction force so she is escaping but in other cases one boy is just moving and fastly moving on banana peel is just going to slide or slipping okay why what's the reason here less friction forces there banana peel here you compare all this friction force before walking in the mud less friction after walking sir before walking more friction after walking less friction pot more friction glass less friction so some cases less friction is there some cases more friction is there holding the pot okay walking before the mud less friction walking in the mud and holding the glass as a less friction what it indicates the nature of the surface because of the nature of the surface the friction forces developed if the surface is smooth skidding takes place surface is not smooth then there is no skidding at all if the surface is smooth that is not holding at all if surface is not smooth holding the objects okay that indicates next clip a detailed explanation of the nature of surfaces what are the factors it depends this video I explain in detail here three categories we just classify as a surface and object three categories just classify as a surface and object three surface classify as surface and object what are the three surfaces first you take the object to surface is smooth as well as the surface also smooth so smooth object smooth surface first case the new ball rolling on marble or mosaic example new ball rolling on marble or mosaic second rough object move on smooth surface that is a wheel move on marble floor third case 
rough object move on rough surface the tire car move on road move on tar road these three examples you have to observe smooth object smooth surface new ball rolling on marble or mosaic rough object move on smooth surface tire move moved on the marble or mosaic plane here rough object moves on rough surface the tire just moved on tar road here what it indicates depend upon the surfaces and objects the friction forces developed where the friction force more in the third case friction forces more first factor the friction forces less so each and every factors depends upon the nature of the surfaces and object nature of the object and nature of the surface okay it depends upon the smoothness first object is more smooth last object is more rough second object is partially rough partially smooth depend upon the situation the object is moving okay next one more example to explain the factors first you take one wooden block uh, just make an inclined plane and rolling a ring on the inclined plane freely this roller reaches the larger distance larger distance next you just take sand paper the place of rolling the ring the in the sand paper when it come across the roller it move only slowly and reaches the less distance only why what is the reason what is the reason in the sand paper in the second case the ball is rolling least distance why some friction is there why friction is developed here more some irregularities are developed irregularities means dislocation holes like that if you observe the surface with the microscope so many irregularities and holes are takes place so if you zoom the surface zoom the surface we have to observe the irregularities in the first case the irregularities are less the second for the second ring the surface has more irregularities <coughs> for second ring the surface is rough for first ring the surface is smooth smooth has less irregularities rough surface has more irregularities more irregularities so irregularities more friction is more then the object moves slowly and reaches the less distance reaches the less distance next we go to the next clip okay this is the some diagrammatic representation of dislocations this dislocations takes place irregularities takes place in between the two surfaces okay next determination of friction how will you determine the friction eppadi friction determine panuvinga two exponents i just to show first exponent spring balance experiment spring balance experiment you just to consider the spring balance spring balance mostly useful to pull the object easily here you just to take one wooden block and it is uh, fixed with a rivet or nail you just insert the hook of the spring balance on the wooden block now you just uh, pull the spring balance the wooden block slightly moving easily moving and it shows less force on the spring balance less measurement on spring balance next experiment next you place some other 50 gram weight on the wood now weight will be increases friction force also increases now you have to apply more force so the more reading also more show more next you add the 150 grams what happened the friction force developed more weight also more applied force also force also more so if you increase the weight gradually the friction force increases if friction force increases you have to apply the force also will be increasing condition from this we came to the conclusion how much of weight is there you have to calculate using the friction force how much of weight is there okay using the spring balance we have to measure the friction force okay from the reading of the spring balance we have to measure the friction force friction force oppose the motion of the body on any surface next we will go to the next experiment here two experiments i will explain first experiment the friction force not only really depends upon the weight but also depend upon the angle here two objects one weightable object one weightless object one smooth object one rough object object rubber and the pin bottle is both are placed but if we just tilt the pad at an angle of inclination the pin bottle just sliding 
just sliding but the rubber is not moving static friction till developed inside one matrix that there is called the anglometer it just shows angle what angle of inclination what angle of inclination you tilt then only the object start to move if the friction is more for rubber so only it does not move but friction is less for the pin bottle so only it is moving so the angle of inclination is less the friction is less so pin bottle is moving the angle of friction is more okay so only the angle of inclination is more friction is more the rubber is not moving properly like that so many objects you take compare with the eraser or rubber first you take some there is plastic box it is easily move with the small angle of friction small angle of friction so this is the one best example for okay to measure the angle and angle and angle of friction and okay nature of the object angle of friction and the nature of the object okay next clip i'll just explain clearly here the explanation angle of friction okay next i'll just uh, send to one clip take one book under two different types of objects you take on the surface of the book coin and eraser you just place one book you just place the coin other book you just place the eraser now you just turn the wrapper of the book slightly to make angle of inclination to increase the angle of inclination what happen on coin or eraser i don't know exactly one is moving fastly one is moving slowly that is homework for you you just observe take one book place the coin uh, one more book you place the eraser you just uh, open the wrapper of the book slightly at a particular angle of inclination tilted particular angle of inclination then what happen which one is moving fastly if any one object moving fastly then what happen friction forces less on the surface and object but if one object is not moving not moving then the in between the surface of the book and object the friction forces more this experiment indicates at what angle of inclination if you give then only the uh, friction forces overcome this is called angle of repose angle of repose okay next we will discuss the topic fluid friction what is meant by fluid friction generally you know the solid only has the maximum friction force friction force means always we imagine only for solid only for solid that is correct factor only but here even the liquid and the gases also has some fluids but when you compare the solid the liquid and the gas has a least friction force so the friction force developed in the liquid and the gas is called drag solid friction force is called friction force but the liquid friction force is called drag or the air friction force is called drag so drag is the friction force developed in water and gases water and gases so friction force developed in air and water is called fluid friction what friction fluid friction fluid friction two types air friction water friction solid means dry friction air and water means fluid friction here liquid and gas you takes that is called fluids liquid and gas that is called that is called mostly it is called fluids so air and water are called fluids because it flow from one place to another place only it is called fluids here the fluid friction depends upon certain factors suppose if you roll the ball on the water if you just throw any one object in air both apply some resistance both apply some resistance ball moving on water and in either objects so throw it in the air so both are moving slowly the reason is some factors affected which fact is affected some resistance of the air and water the fish is moving the water the fish is slowly moving why some friction force developed that is called dragging water resistance some other object moving in the air that is called air friction so fluid friction in detail we have to explain here first first of all what factors fluid friction depends nature of the fluid nature of the fluid in air the object is moving freely air resistance is less but in water the object is moving slowly 
imagine aeroplane is moving fastly than the ship ship is moving on the water it moves slowly even if you apply the same speed aeroplane is moving fastly and the ship is moving slowly why the thickness of the fluid thickness of the fluid the thickness is more in the liquid than in the air that is only due to viscosity nature highly viscous nature liquid has a highly viscous nature when you compare the viscosity of water that is greater than viscosity of air air viscosity is less so only aeroplane is flying fast in viscosity is more in water so only fishes fish is slippy ship is slowing slowly moving viscosity of honey is greater than viscosity of water here thickness and the nature of the fluid it depends second factor speed of the object how the speed of the object depends okay speed the speed fluid friction also depends on speed if the speed is more suppose the vehicle is 100 meter per hour more drag 50 meter less drag so 100 meter per hour na more drag more friction forces there 50 meter per hour na less drag ona 100 meter per hour na tire theenji podu nanta 50 meter per hour na tire theyama povu nanta right so shape of the object third one shape of the object the shape of the object mostly is streamlined mostly the aeroplane fish birds all these things the all these things birds fish aeroplane everything front part and back part is conical shape center part is broader part front part and back part is conical shape center part is broader part this is called fish body the aeroplane is designed only by observing the fish so the birds fish and birds so the scientist um, light brothers invent the aeroplane only by observing the fish and Uh, that is a fish why that is called streamlining motion streamlining body means front and back is conical shape center portion is broad if whole portion is a rectangle or cuboid or square like that impossible to overcome the air friction air friction is more so if the surface of the front and the back are flat in bus the bus is not moving fastly but is if it is just like a fish body or a uh, like that a bird body like that then it is easy to uh, push the bus easily that is called fluid friction next aerodynamic what is my aerodynamic aeroplane is moving at the time of starting that is departing from the airport and landing at the time of airport so the aeroplane just departed at the time of departing how it just rises in the upward direction and the next part at the time of landing at the time of landing na it just come and reach to the airport like that at the time of landing it just come in which direction in both the cases in both the cases both the cases while the aeroplane just moving in upward direction at the starting time it just a particular angle of inclination towards the upward direction that is a diagonal direction why it is just moving diagonal direction because the friction force in air the air friction force is called drag that opposes the movement of the plane if the plane is moving horizontal direction but weight of the plane is just balanced in upward direction so weight of the plane disturb in movement of upward the drag friction force disturb horizontal so only in between horizontal vertical some resultant forces there the resultant force movement is called aerodynamic resultant force movement is called aerodynamic that means not in upward not in horizontal not like that of bus not like that of rocket the aeroplane is moving in some particular angle that is called aerodynamic at the time of starting at the time of reaching or landing the aeroplane move in particular angle particular angle not in vertical direction like that of rocket not in horizontal direction like that of ship so only this is called aerodynamic next necessary and evil necessary evil why it is called necessary evil friction is called only is called necessary evil why the friction is only is called necessary and evil necessary means thevein solvanga evil na thimai so thevayana thimai nu solvanga necessary evil necessary means friction has a more advantages some places that is called necessary friction is a some other place evil that is a disadvantages 
you go to the advantage disadvantage observe this video first you have to observe any one object you just hold the pot okay pot easily just hold the pot pot na pana if you just hold the object easily then friction is more but if you hold the glass tumbler if it is a wet condition then glass broke down broken to pieces the fell down why it is greasy nature wet condition wet condition easily hold the pot but wet condition impossible to hold the glass so glass is difficult one person girl is just walking the rough surface and mud rough surface she is not skid but mud is she is going to skid skid another boy plays with the leg on peel of banana immediately is going to skidding so what it indicates this pictures and videos here if you hold the part the friction is more if you are walking along the rough surface friction is more but if if you are uh, holding the glass friction is less if you are walking the rough surface sorry mud the friction is less here depend upon the surface friction is developed next advantage if you want to write if you want to write the using chalk piece on the blackboard some grip needed if there is no grip how can you write on the blackboard that is a friction advantage next you write the vehicles on the road if the road is a new road the rough rough surface it is possible to move fastly but if it is a smooth surface impossible to move next you just hold the nail on the wall then some friction is there okay if the hammer is slipped then it fell on the leg so here the friction is very important in all these cases the friction is very very important so it is called necessary so it is called necessary here some evils given evil na disadvantage before after before ball bearing after ball bearing before body no corrosion no wear and tear after ball bearing wear and tear takes place chappal also like that new chappal molded like that uh, old chappal that is a smooth surface here if you rub the hand warm heat is produced heat is produced if you wash the vessel the hand is uh, disturbed so these are all some other evil and the machines rice mill mixer jar everything friction is more so only the floor is attached with the because of heating it attached with the the vessel in both the grinder mixer as well as the rice mill like that so these are all some other advantages and disadvantages takes place next some more examples are given next some more examples are given if you just lighting the match box on the with the match stick then easily it just produce the fire why because the friction is there similarly you just hold the brake shoe on the tire of the cycle then it also produce a friction here on match stick just rubbing on the match box producing more friction then it produce the fire if there is no friction at all then uh, no fire at all winter season you keep the match box in some other insulation but summer season you just keep in open box next clip go to the next clip so what are the ways uh, different uh, to increase or decrease the friction like that here how to increase the friction how to increase the friction so take a chalk piece and write on the blackboard if the blackboard is completely painted then the friction forces will be more then you have to write the concept easily next you take one car on the road okay if the tire is molded or treaded then it is possible to move easily okay next how to that is increasing the friction this is also how to increasing the friction the molded tire or treaded tire treaded tire means to make a grooves on the tire then only friction will more grooved soles grooved soles means the bottom of the chappal so many grooves soles are embedded then only friction will be more so the grooved soles and treaded tires or molded tires give more friction 
this one way of increasing friction this one way of increasing friction okay next clip this method of increasing friction i have just explained next how to decreasing the friction in sometimes uh, decreasing the friction is a evil decreasing the friction is a evil observe this uh, video this is called ball bearings where we have to use the ball bearings uh, the lead shots used in hub of the cycle and some ball bearings used in fan mixy jar like that why why we are in the condition to usage of the ball bearings in the the hub of the wheel of the cycle or two wheelers and the center the coiled portion of the fan okay so an armature is there some stator is there armature is rotating in between stator and armature some balls are there that is called ball bearings why we use the ball bearings see here this diagram first case the cylinder rotating in the the squared metal box the squared metal box the cylindrical metal rod rotating both are just merged because of friction fire is produced then it will damage the apparatus or damage the appliances then it produce a fire but if you want to avoid the fire using friction here friction is the evil how to avoid second diagram you observe some other balls are inserted in between the cylindrical portion and the cuboid portion this balls more helpful the rolling it produce a rolling friction so if the balls are not moving in the first case rolling friction is not developed rolling friction is not developed rolling friction is better than sliding kinetic static rolling friction is the least friction in the world so only we just use ball bearings so usage of ball bearings between the cylindrical and cuboid or square box that it is more useful to rotate the cylindrical so like that only armature is freely rotating in fan grinder mixy and cycle wheel everything the ball bearings used right? in between the ball bearings often you apply the lubricants what's the meaning of lubricants what's the usage of lubricants without first diagram without the lubricants if you run the vehicles what happen wear and tear takes place wear and tear means theimanam solvanga corrosion corroded arippu arimanam theimanam wear and tear wear and tear happening often and often you just purchase the new objects but if you use the lubricants always in saving machine cycle two wheelers then it is easily blowing otherwise corroded and make a rust formation in the vehicles so it is impossible to ride the vehicles so only we have to use the lubricants so by usage of ball bearings usage of uh, lubricants these are all the some other ways to increase the friction sorry uh, decrease the friction okay next one more way of decreasing the friction streamlined body i already explained what is the streamlined body the invention of aeroplane only due to only by using birds and fish the birds and fish the front part and back part are conical shape that is triangle shape like that then only it work of the air friction center part only broad if whole part is broad like that of cuboid or cube like that what happened then the vehicles just to push the air with the high force so it work on the air friction with the high force so only the streamlined body is a streamlined body is a very important the streamlined body is the way of way of decreasing the friction so what are the ways of decreasing the friction usage of ball bearings usage of lubricants usage of streamlined okay i go to the uh, last clip the methods of the methods of reducing minimizing the frictions given right so that's all so students thank you for your kind cooperation and if you have any doubt regarding this uh, friction topic you just ask in the teachment app the evening session schedule okay thank you thank you students okay